Welcome or welcome back to Beta 8. So Playfab Integration Kit version 2 released on the Epic Games Marketplace and is doing good, like pretty good. I did not expect that number of sales and thanks a lot everyone. Uh, one thing that I just wanted to tell is if you are uh, this video is majorly focused towards hosting the dedicated servers, you will be able to get dedicated servers running in 10 minutes not including the build time because that I cannot guarantee how long it takes. Other than that, it should be pretty quick. You just need a good internet and a build that is a server build. But don't worry, we are going to make the server build in this pro in this uh, video. We are going to start from A to B. Uh, one minor uh, side note, uh, very soon Playfab integration kit version 2 will have an update where you will be able to make direct dedicated servers from the engine itself and directly host them. So you will not even need to go to the Playfab's website. But as of now, we need to do it. So as you can see, I'm copying the Playfab integration kit version 2. I have to say version 2 again and again because people will mistakenly take it for version 1. If you own the version 1 already, you get free access to version 2 and just check out this uh, Discord server on how you can get that. So I'm going to create a new project with 5.3. And let's choose maybe the third person template. And I don't need the starter content and I will just create a folder. Um, yeah, that's what that's what I just wanted to say. We are one minute in the video already. So let's go and see. So you will see on the engine, you will not find any Playfab folder and this is a source engine. So I will go and create a new C++ class and this is an empty class and this is required because uh, we need to add a plugin and that, that plugin comes from a launcher version of the engine. So we will need a, basically we will need a, you got it right, we will need a C++ project. So create a new folder named plugins and paste the plugin there which we copied from the marketplace folder as you saw in the starting of the video. Now close the engine um, and right click generate visual studio files it's still generating okay it says uh something is already running so i will close both the things right click generating yeah it's generating now again you will need a source build of course for this so now go to the source folder and you will find uh, your project name and with a editor file so copy it and replace the editor by server this is required for the server target so you can make dedicated servers. Now let's open up the project. Uh, sorry, let's open up this target.cs file. And here just you need to do is what you need to do is find and replace all the editor references and replace them by server. Now close this. Save all, just close this. Let's uh, go to pfkit version 2 again. Generate Visual Studio files. Open up the engine. Okay, so you will get this error many times when the plugin is not built. So just open up your project in Visual Studio or Rider, whatever you use. So of course, because it's a C++ project, you will have the Visual Studio installed. And if you're using the so if you're using the source engine, you will of course have it again. So it will take a few seconds to get loaded. Yeah, it's done. So let's go to games and right click pfkit version 2 and build. So this build will take minor amount of time. It only has 53 actions to build. Yeah, so build the build is done. So let's close this and start the project from the U project file. And now we what we need to do is we just need to go to the project settings and select the BP game instance that comes with the Playfab integration kit here. Open that open that uh, blueprint. We need to change the game ID to our own game ID which we are going to use. So go to the event graph and then come down you will on the event initialize you will find a playfab game title id which is ours for now so that you can get started with testing but let's go and create a new id and paste it here so for that what we need to do is we need to go on playfab find the id and now just paste the id that you have here i already pasted it i could not show it because i was doing it on the second screen now let's go and just start the build normally 
windows select the server target on the right and here you can just let it be development the dedicated servers can always be development even if you are using a shipping build for the client so let's package the client i can create a new folder here named server yeah i will let the files go in here as soon as the build is done i will be back here so the build is done let's uh, create a zip for the server files this is just a server.zip and this may take a while to be honest this um, because the server files are usually very large so we will have to sadly wait for it till the build is there i will is going on there let me show you something let's go to the my game and then multiplayer this is on your playfab dev portal or the portal whatever you want to say and you will see that it will ask you for a credit card it's if it's not added just add it there it's free for 750 hours make sure you don't go above it so now when the you have added the card just press on new build and put the name of the build that you want to test so i will just name this first build choose the number of cores you want for the machine number of servers normally you can run six to seven servers on a, a four core machine then what we need to do is the zip is done so let's copy the windows server.zip here and go to pfkit version 2 video that is your project name then binaries win64 copy the path of the win64 to pfkit version 2 video and it, like this is in my case it would be different in yours and then see hash assets and hash sorry slash and the path that we just copied now we need to copy the file name of the exe so right click and copy the name of the exe and paste it here now this is uh, this is it i think everything is set up oh no we need to set the region i would be using the east us which is which comes under the free reader. and the port name is very important it should only be game port with a 7777 value and udp the second you can name it anything but i would suggest game port 2 with again a value of 7777 tcp and if you have beacons you can use more values here so that is it now the build will take a bit of like uploading will take a bit of time so as soon as that's done let's get back here and test it out So the build is done let's go and press on add build and it has started the build process now you will see the build status is initialized if you go in the build section you will see the status is initialized but if you reload the page after a few times you will see it start it goes to deploying so deploying is the stage where it downloads your project and then sees now uh, this pro the step of deploying can take a while if it's a more smaller machine that is a two core machine it will take more time but um, and if if for some reason your game crashes or comes with an error this deploying will come to unhealthy stage now if you are on a healthy unhealthy stage you can contact us on the discord server or on the email whichever form you are okay with and we can help you out solving that now the build is i think should be downloaded it is already 15 minutes uh nope it's 8 minutes 57 seconds okay nice so let's go to the first build and then servers and because it's now already deployed and you can see the servers are standing by so that means it's working properly let's request a server so you can see we have an ip address so let's go and play in the so play in the editor i think we should play with two clients uh two number of clients and in this first one now we will see that we join a black level because we are testing from the editor and our server is not built with the shaders then go here paste it and now you should see i am on a black level uh yeah with no one because again the shaders were not built now let's go and here also we just paste the same path oh shit sorry i was not able to open space uh the ip address slash 
3020 and enter now i should join yep you can see i i am on the same server but i started falling uh, i'm sorry for that but because i was i forgot to build the shaders but again that um, that means we joined the server and you saw that now a few side points i don't know why i'm saying it by side points back to back but on, on a side note there are a few things that you want to keep a note of if you want matchmaking the nodes for that are already implemented in the project you can just call the start matchmaking node and that will take care of it it will require some queue processing so if you need that just check this video um, on i will just link it in the description you can check that it's already made for matchmaking and that logic is not that long or you can just reach out to us on discord um, we are also trying to make a new documentation which we are working on if you like the plugin consider reviewing it on the marketplace again reach out to us anytime you face any issues